Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe. We love the love. Uh, we got some fire for y'all tonight. We got our co-host, obviously Rico Hundo. Fix your face. It's not a co. Don't take the co out. <laughs> take the co out. Is it? We can start over. You want to start over? My co-host, because <laughs> we host together, uh, Rico Hundo. You the leader. I even said your last name for you, so chill out. And our special guest, K Goddess. Woo! Give, give us, give us your IG. What's good, Josh? Your K Mother F and Goddess, K Goddess official on all social media platforms. So make sure you tap in and follow me. And there we go. We finna get into it. You ready? Mm -hmm. Ready. I know Rico been talking a bunch of shit since you've been here. Yeah. Listen, I'm not talking to y'all today. I'm talking to, <laughs> I'm talking to YouTube and Instagram. The question is, <laughs> what kind of date makes sense given your financial, you know, status, where you are in life, where you are at the moment? Is it is it a, a dinner at Ruth's Chris, STK, Catch? Of course, it's a New York restaurant. Or is it just a coffee at Starbucks? Or like, you know, some, maybe like the Baccarat, you know, that the hotel, they have the cafe inside. Mm -hmm. It's cheaper than dinner, Hoboken you know, got some but really it's still dope, a uh, coffee, you know. What'd like, you say? Hoboken got some dope coffee spots. Yeah, you know, so... First of all, make sure y'all put it in the comments. We want to know what, what y'all think and what's appropriate and what's not appropriate and what you're willing to go on a date for, mm -hmm. uh, what kind of date you want. So since you're our special guest, we want to know what, what, what you think is appropriate. Um, I feel like if I don't really know you, I prefer us going to a very public place dinner somewhere like Ruth Chris somewhere that a lot of people sit at. And if I'm comfortable with you, I have no problem with going on a date to a coffee shop or somewhere more casual. So a cheaper date if you already know the person. Yep. But a first date for someone you've never mm -mm. been out with. You gotta be public. We need public place and. But what about the money? I kinda, yeah, I kinda wanna check your pockets because when I go to Ruth Chris or STK, I'm spending the minimum when I walk in there, $200 on myself. So, and I eat. The way I eat for me is the way I'm eating on a regular date. So I want to. I'm gonna check your pockets. I'm gonna try to see what it's hitting for. Cause regardless, if you if you don't got it, I'm gonna pay for it myself. But yeah, I, I'm gonna touch your gangster. That's fair because mm -hmm. Rico, you always say don't ask for what you know. Don't require something of somebody you else that yourself. you can't do yourself. Yep. But how the hell he know? Talk about it. How do we know what she can? <laughs> wait, time out. She, we don't know what she could do for herself. I don't know, but if somebody's trying to date her, they just heard her say it. Yes. So now you know. Well, no, no, scratch that. Stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. We're talking about now somebody who never will see or never has seen K Goddess or somebody in like that are that has the same ideologies as K Goddess. Mm -hmm. We don't know what she can do. So when we hear that, it's like, okay, of course you do. So do you want to go to Ruth Chris with um, what, 140 other American women that want to go to Ruth, Ruth Chris? Okay, you're one of 140 million. Mm -hmm. So what, I don't know that you can do that yourself. It mm -hmm. seems like it, but nowadays, like she said, testing people's pockets because everybody seems like they could do something mm -hmm. until it's time to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and, and then everything changed. So I'm going to say, you know, and I, I put this on a, another clip before. OG told me it don't matter where you take her on the first date. We're talking about the first date, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. It don't matter where you take her on the first date. If it, if there is a demand or obligation to go to some place that is very expensive, she's not even there for you. Mm -hmm. She's sure. there for what you can do for her. So I'm going to say a coffee shop, something, something light on the first date is essential. It's mandatory. It's mandatory if you're a dude and you're going to take a girl out. Don't ever do nothing foolish and take her out on Ruth Chris and spend $400 on her first date so she could walk away full and you walk away empty. Uh, and I'm walking no, away No, you're going to walk away bag. full. No, and I'm going away I with my doggy full. bag. You full, all right. I'm full of shit right now because I feel <laughs> foolish. Mm. Like, like, yeah, I See, feel like a See, but the like problem is I take myself on dates to Ruth Chris because so I'm not yeah. going to allow no man to come less than on a first date. But well, I'm not, but, let's oh, talk, okay. yeah. and I, I say this all the time because you know Rico Rich, and he mm -hmm. always talking about mm -hmm. hundred thousand this, hundred thousand that. Rico's average, rich, oh. average people, mm -hmm. average people. So like, she ain't average. What? No, no, no. But I'm just saying, like, if you're gonna give advice to an average woman, you know, mm -hmm. she makes fifty thousand dollars, and like the guy she dates makes fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Like, what do you think is appropriate as far as like a date? Is Ruth Chris still appropriate? 
you know? You, you're not asking me, right? Cause I'm, no, 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 I'm, uh, talking about, I'm asking her. Oh, to me? Is Woo Chris still a Don't look at not your pockets. Okay. Like, the, just the average, you know, regular person. $50,000 in what time span? You made it. 12 months. <laughs> a year? <laughs> a, a 12 months, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> um... Not yeah, Boof Chris still appropriate. <laughs> or something like Benny Hanna. Take me a place I've never been. Oh, Benny but Hanna's gross. Yeah. That's what a lot of people say, but they I say it's, it's crazy expensive. Or take me somewhere I've never been, but I don't want to be at a coffee shop the first day because I... What if there's nobody there and he try to kidnap me? Like, I'm scared. So it's more of a safety thing for yeah, you. Yeah, I'd rather be at a public place that we mutual, you know, take me to Brooklyn Chop House or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no? No. Why? Same thing. Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Black owned. Right. There's a couple restaurants in my area mm -hmm. that are very nice restaurants. Mm -hmm. They're not top dollar expensive. Mm -hmm. And they're good. That's like, fine. The, the food but is that's good. not Starbucks and, or Dunkin' Donuts. But what I'm saying is it's also not four hundred dollars either. You might you might with like, you know, a couple of drinks. I'm I'm you spending four hundred dollars. You're not spending four hundred dollars. Regardless. <laughs> yeah. Not, First of all, I don't even go out like that. So when I do decide to go out, I always have my budget, two hundred dollars. But if we go over, we got an extra two hundred dollars right here. We outside, and I'm eating for a few days, cause I'm taking doggy bags home. And that's rule so number one. So I'm not accepting nothing less when it comes to, cause I'm not gonna slow down my eating for a man because he can't afford it. That's fine. Check. I'll you tell you like saying? this: any woman who you take out on a on a on a roof, Chris, mm -hmm. STK, mm -hmm. catch. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Chop House, house mm -hmm. and she take a doggy bag home, let her stay home forever. Don't I'm not bring her stay back home outside. Because I'm gonna take myself. Regardless. But, 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 Regardless. but no, I'm not saying I'm not saying that you will. Mm -hmm. I'm saying let her. So don't go and get her again. Because the thing is, ain't nothing wrong with taking a doggy bag home, ladies. It is something wrong with no, it. No, it is because not. Because when you take a doggy bag home, most times, not you. Mm -hmm. Not you. Mm -hmm. Most women that, most people, not even just women, men mm -hmm. too, that take doggy bags home mm -hmm. is because they don't go back again <laughs> or they don't go often. That don't make no sense. If I've that, been to, okay. No. On. See, with me, it's never a price, it's not really a price tag with me because regardless of where I put myself at, I know I can always hold myself down. Like, I'm not asking a guy to take me to a Gucci store if I can't afford Gucci. I'm one of those girls. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. So. Yes, we clown them. We clown them. We talk about them. And if he asks me to go out on another date, I might go again and tell my homegirls <laughs> if he changed or not. You know what I'm saying? Did he improve? Yeah, did he improve time or not? Yeah. Once I spend four hundred dollars on you on a date, you are required to give me some box. What? He's crazy. <laughs> I'm not paying four hundred dollars for nothing. He's crazy. Are you are you stupid, dumb, or high? This is not happening. Mm -mm. If I'm spending this amount of money on you, we are doing something, and I'm not gonna. I'm not. Did you even, take a hand job? I, I'm depending on how she looks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might take. I, I'll that give that a hand job, baby. That's, yeah, that's, that's that easy. Before. That's a good that childish. Yeah. I might be upset, but not really. Not if it's really good. You're gonna be like, right. this girl got me going crazy. Right. Yo, you're not gonna it set you up it. for the next time. Sure. You're like, got yo, you. just throwing a lick in there or something like. Nah, just yeah, a little right. spit. A little spit. <laughs> From the top. <laughs> yo, you gotta have immaculate <laughs> discipline and not go further. Y'all would, y'all would get four hundred dollars out of me if you do that. But you got to do something. <laughs> You're not, like, I'm not mm -hmm. spending four or $500 on a first date. First of all, I'm not taking no woman on a first date that I don't think I can already fuck. Oh, well, okay. that's, that's understandable. That's not happening. That's understandable. So if I... So you think when guys take me out and they spin a bag on me, they think they about to fuck? I think... You I think, think they feel like a cornball after, no matter how much I sweet talk them? They know that, most of them know that they're cornballs already. Hmm. So they're like, so they're not if, if, I, if it doesn't happen, look, if it happens, it happens. That's oh, their mentality. Right. Yeah, true. But I'm gonna try my hardest. You <laughs> <laughs> a valiant is, effort. That is so disrespectful, though. No, it's disrespectful to want me to spend somebody else's damn near three, four bills, monthly bills but on that's your the thing, one. I food. don't want you to spend it. You're just gonna organically end up spending it because that's how I eat. That means you want me to spend it. I'm gonna spend it myself if you no, don't. No. Okay, so, all right, I take you on a first date, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, we're going to go to Brooklyn Chop House, right? Mm -hmm. Boom, all right, the bill's $400. See, but that's different. Brooklyn Chop House, they mills are big. Okay, all right, let's, all right. You know what I'm saying? Um, For their price, Let's they go to Ocean Prime. Ocean Prime has really so small portions and they're dope, right? Okay. So we go to they Ocean... when you leave? If you order enough, but look. <laughs> but this so is what I'm so saying. Like, see, but, but and the bill goes up. But this is what I'm saying. We go to Ocean Prime, so now the bill's $500. Mm-hmm. 
You think you gain some box after that? Before? No, no, no. This is what I'm asking you. It's five hundred dollars, and I'm like, all right. I'm gonna test your pockets. Let's go half on this. And I, I might say it depends on how I like you. I might say yes. I'm gonna be first honest. date. I'm not paying half. First, first date. Never met you before. Nothing. Never met you. I got two fifty yeah. here. Here's two fifty, and I got the tip. You just cover your two fifty. You first test date. my pockets. I test your pockets. Is that cool? First date. I don't think so. Now, second date. If you like, yo, I handled the last date. Would you? I'd probably be like, all right, we had a good time. You know what I'm saying? I got no problem with splurging a little bit. But you know, but first date, just like that, I don't know. It gives corny. It gives walk out. Respect him or not respect? Him? I won't respect him. Yeah. I won't respect him That's because cat. only because, cat. and it won't it won't be a financial problem that I won't respect him. It'll be more so of a gentleman problem. The reason why I won't respect him because it's like who raised him? He don't have sisters. Like, you know, it's more of a deeper question. Where your mama? He, where your mother what? at? Like, my I want to put your mama requir- ass for wait, you wait, doing okay. this. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, time out. My mother and my sister was not requiring me to take him on a $500 date Your to mama to and them. your sister is requiring when another nigga to take them on a $500 date. Ooh. Nah, no, they're not. No, they're they not. y'all. I love Ruth Chris. Like, Ruth Chris is not that expensive. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's her whole point. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that expensive. expensive. As relative. Okay, all right. Yeah, true. Once you get the I, drinks I and like, run up the I bill. I feel like other places, like... And I barely drink, so I'm eating. That's a lot my of food. My thing is this. My thing is this. Hey, right? It's a lot of so, all night. This is what day. happens, though, Kate Goddess, right? Mm-hmm. We sit here and we tell everybody a bunch of stuff that mm-hmm. you got to realize that there's hundreds of thousands of people that listen to us. Thank mm-hmm. you. Right? Mm-hmm. And it's not you, it's not me, it's not Aaron, right? Mm-hmm. And the reality of it is we can't, everybody can't have that demand to do something. No, but that's the, why you demand in your bracket. But here's the thing. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Stand for what you stand for. Demand in your bracket. I am a high quality female. Might not be as high as Beyonce, but I'm a level of high that I feel like I am. So I feel like a man should come no less than because less than is where I come from. So if I level myself up and I'm taking myself on dates to Ruth Chris, I feel like it should be no no less than that. And that's just period. If I know you, if I grew up with you, I have no problem with going to the coffee shop. I have no problem with us chilling. I have no problem with that. But a first date, you're trying to get to know me. This is I feel comfortable at Ruth Chris. So you feel some type of way about Ruth Chris prices? That's where I feel comfortable at. I am the woman. You want me to feel comfortable. If you feel some type of way about that, you could go for the next woman. All right. So I think that it's important then for us to be able to say that we should only respect if this is what date I'm getting. Date within our bracket? Not just date within our bracket. Date within whatever we typically go. That's fair. So if you go to Fridays, mm-hmm. don't come to me talking <laughs> about... K God, I heard K Goddess, and I need to have a Ruth Chris type of man. No, you go to Fridays. You you go to all of them others. Exactly. Ruby Tuesdays. Ruby Tuesdays. All the day big of the week. Big joint. shout out you to Fridays. Big shout out to Fridays. Big shout out to Fridays. We definitely. I was about to say we got the two for twenties. Yeah, that's the out here Ruby drinks be hitting. They be hitting. But, I ain't gonna lie. But but not a first date. Wait, okay. Let me interject. All right. So I'll I'll say this. I can understand an expensive date. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't understand going out, having a meal, then asking me to pay for half. If we not, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm if, if we're not discussing half at the beginning, yeah. don't don't hit me with a half mm-hmm. at the end. Especially when you ask me on a date. That's corny. Yep. Because I could have been on a date with somebody like else, else mm-hmm. and they're not asking me to pay but for here's the thing. half of a meal that I didn't know about that was going to be half. I'm with that. I but, got gas, but if though. But if I ask... I ain't got nobody it. on gas. <laughs> well, first of all, gas is a date. I ain't got gas nobody on gas. Gas five something a gallon. So look, mm-hmm. here's my thing. Right. I'm cool with that. But if I ask you on a date and I take you to a coffee shop, don't tell me you can't go. Because it's not Ruth Chris. No, I, and but what I, and time I agree. is this as well? Because if if I'm meeting somebody, I mean, if I'm outside a... and I ran into a guy that I seen on social media a couple times, and he's like, "Hey, you know, I got free time at three p.m. What time you got free?" I'm like, "Oh, I got something free at three p.m. too, and then I gotta go somewhere at five. We can meet up at a coffee shop." I'm gonna be honest. I I will go. Obviously, I'm married, but like if I'm if I'm dating scenario, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Married, I'd go to a coffee shop. <laughs> And I'm, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because, like, let's say we're in Houston. Nobody love us. I would. <laughs> it's all right. Boy, don't worry. I would. I would just say that, like, in in Houston right now, there's there's so many people moving there, so there's so much new stuff being built. Mm-hmm. So we have like Word, hella like n- new like idea type stuff. So it ain't just a Starbucks. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It might be somewhere where you get like a um, a, a special pour over coffee. 
most people don't even know what a pour over is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it, See, it might be something that's an something on that date. Right. It's, it might be something know. that's an experience. Mm -hmm. That's different. But here's the thing, and this is the problem. You got to be open minded to that experience. Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing. If I say a coffee shop, right, and I, if I said, yo, yeah, I'm going to take you to a, before she even explained that, if I said that to you, not you, but a woman, mm -hmm. like, you know, whatever. I said, yo, we're going to go on a first date. I want to get to know you. We're going to go down to Brooklyn. It's, they got some dope coffee where they do a pour over they coffee. Really do got dope coffee shops in Brooklyn. I'm sure. Right? Of all places. Mm -hmm. If right? I said I'm going to take a girl, like, yeah, I'm going to take you to this dope coffee spot that got pour over coffee. She's going to be like, I don't give a fuck about no coffee. Maybe, what, I don't like, think do so. you like green juice? <laughs> like, <laughs> Then, that's how you make the group chat. And then, mm -hmm. <laughs> so because there's a lot of beautiful women and not every woman is beautiful interior and exterior. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes like for me or to have a standard of yourself and, and we've had this conversation before too where, okay, if you're a man with money, right? And you normally go to these places, you don't need to like go to a place less than, you know, because of a girl. But the thing is, you do, because when you're the prize and you're the person that is going to be paying, you're the per and if you do got it right, we're speaking right now from that context. Mm -hmm. If you're a man that does have this money, you just can't. You just even if you can't afford to do it, you really can't. Because you can't lead with your money. You can't lead with your money. You'll never you know. Shouldn't lead with your money. You can't. I was gonna say people you, do it I mean, all if the you, time. No, you you. Yeah. Don't lead with your money over here. D disclaimer: If you're trying to smash. And you don't want nothing to do with her like like that yep. after. Leave, leave with your money. money. I don't know, not like you. like Come funny with your funny money dudes. Over here, you not <laughs> no, if you're funny, oh, yeah, stop. Funny <laughs> dudes can like really win. Who? If you're funny, like if you have like a crazy personality, you can make a woman smile. Mm -hmm. Like when I'm funny, right? I mean, like it. Sometimes. I think it hits <laughs> just as hard as having money. I prefer Ruth Chris at the moment where I'm. <laughs> 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 Ruth Chris plus connection. <laughs> I prefer that the moment where I'm at because, like I said before, you could go look at the previous episodes of Eight at the Table. I just recently got out of a four-year relationship with a guy I was holding down for four years. Yes. So I'm not looking for that. Like. We outside. What's up? I got four hundred dollars. I met Chef four hundred dollars. We eight hundred dollars on the bill right now. Like, what are we doing, Bobby? Like, let's we outside. Cause I'm not. That's fair. I'm I'm good right now. Like, That's 50, on, 50. on certain. It's yeah, not, and it's not even uh um you have to impress me type of thing or you gotta have bread. Cause number one, I'm one of those girls that it don't matter about your money. It don't matter how big your pockets is. It don't matter about none of that. Your nonsense mom ten still not gonna smash. I am probably gonna um most likely off? yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna smash. Like you're you're I not. You know, because with me, it's a deeper connection. I don't care about how much money you have. I didn't have millionaires on my line. That's fiending to take me out to a thousand roof Chris dates that I dubbed. You know what I'm saying? So if it's a privilege for you to even take me to this roof Chris date, because I don't even go on dates like that. Okay. So it's 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 different on this side. Like you don't have to impress me with your money, but it do play a part. You know what I'm saying? Because if we, if I say, hey, what's up? I used to be a bartender. I'm not a bartender no more. I'm one of the hottest female rappers coming out of New York, but I want to go to the strip club tonight and I want to support my friends that I used to work with. Expensive. You know what I'm saying? And you're and saying- I know your strip club is probably going to Starless somewhere. And yes, and I'm going to Starless spending no less than a band when I'm going out to throw money on my friends. And I have had Starless nights where I go and throw no money and I'm chilling at the bar just smoking hookah. It be like that sometimes, but if you can't match my swag, I don't want you because but I've been in a certain place and I know myself and I know I'm one of those chicks that if I really, really, really like you and you do fall on a tight bond, I'm going to hold you down. I believe So I believe I'm just that. good right now. like. But I take, see, I can't even, because I take myself on dates all the time. Can I say something? Like, guys can't take me on regular dates. Like, you want to go to the movies? I go to the movies by myself, Poppy. Well, and I have fun. I'm going to so. be honest with you. Museum, maybe. Right? And, and you, I, you can take me to the museum. I love museums. Museum. Museum. You know, I love museums. I love art galleries. I love all that white people shit. I'm into it. So, I'm a, <laughs> I, this is what I personally, I'm into all of it. This is what I personally have learned and know, right? And I can't say for everybody. Mm -hmm. But the guys that will roof push you are mm -hmm. typically of no substance for you yeah i sit out on a date and i get annoyed but mm -hmm. but but this is what i'm saying right when you lead with the roof chris you're already leading for most people to have no substance or good intention for you that's why you have a thousand of them in your a thousand roof chris dates unread unread and that's fine that's, because i'm not trying to take none of them serious i'm but not looking I, I get that so what i'm saying is what i'm saying is it's not a necessarily a necessity for that right now mm -hmm. because from what i'm hearing is 
you want somebody that's genuinely going to hold you down, mm -hmm. the people that's going to just sit here and spend top dollar on you ain't going to hold you down. Mm -hmm. Unless people, people got to make sure that they understand this. When people are spending money mm -hmm. on you, the relationship is conditional. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to be spending all this, you know, Ruth Chris money on you, it is conditional that you're now doing what I need you to do for me. Hand jobs. Mm -hmm. So if whatever, once, once you stop doing that for mm -hmm. me, Right, these roof Chris and but this. But see, all we're these not privileges. talking about down the line roof Chris after roof Chris after roof Chris. Because yeah. of course that's a stupid investment. I'm gonna say, Papi, listen, we have roof Chris too much. You could say that money. Give me the two hundred dollars, and I will go put it somewhere. I put it towards my marketing. You know, I'm saying a first date, especially, oh, okay, and you're trying and you're trying to impress me. We out to roof. But we not trying. After that, if I like the vibes, if I was feeling you, if you kept my attention enough. I have no problem with a follow-up date somewhere else. Really? Then what if a dude is like, yo, I'm going to take you out X, Y, and Z, but these drinks are 22 apiece. Mm -hmm. Let's go, let's go pre-turn up. Piece. Let's go pre-turn up at Applebee's. Um, no, it. well, not Applebee's. <laughs> I don't even like Applebee's drinks, but she like, would like, that, like can we get a, a bottle in the car? We taking I'm, shots. I'm with it, baby. Come on, let's go drink this bottle. Let's go and move Chris and eat these white people full. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, but I, I want to know, like, like are y'all going to feel weird if a dude is like, look, we can go to Ruth's Chris, but I can't afford these Ruth's Chris drinks. Because nope. you get three drinks. I that's love transparency. No, nope. that's like $150 right there. I'm not going half on anything. If you ask me oh, on a date, God damn. why would I? ever mm -hmm. because the thing yeah. is that if, if the interest was there mm -hmm. that means I would have approached you yeah if I wanted to be on this date yep. that bad I would have approached you yep. and I would be paying yep. but don't ask me for my time and to get to know me and expect mm -hmm. me to pay I don't care and if we get tell I don't, me last minute I don't care if we get a seven dollar coffee from from star from star or a ten dollar coffee from mm -hmm. Starbucks or yeah. if it's a four hundred dollar meal at at catch mm -hmm. yeah. or at uh, Peter Luger's or something like I'm, I'm just saying like but Aaron, what I was also saying in context was that I was using that as a response to what Kay Goddess was saying when she's saying, um, I like to test their pockets. Mm -hmm. I, no, I, and so, I got so, you. So, so I got if you. I, if that's what I'm saying. Like, if you want to test my pockets, you got to be okay with somebody testing, testing their yours. pockets back. Fair enough. Yeah, but you don't do that right there. I you mean, like, all right, girl, but, you play, all right, I got you. But like, Next so, time we go on a date, this so one look, so, so let me ask you a yes, question. Papi, so let's me. be realistic now because mm -hmm. we're not, we're, we're missing one big part. Mm -hmm. the, the guy asked the girl to go on a date. Yes. You say yes, right? Mm -hmm. And he says, I'm going to take you to Chili's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. No offense to Chili's. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you to Chili's. Mm -hmm. And you respond, no, I want to go to Roof Chris. No, I'd be like, hey, let's just go get a coffee. Hey, let's go somewhere else. <laughs> okay. Can, can, can and then I, he <laughs> asked, but look, look, wait, hold on. So then he asked, okay, where where do you want to go? Uh, he already lost. No, no, no. Yeah, and that's the problem. Yeah, where's, your where's your brain? You take me out. Where's your brain? You take me out. No, no, no. Answer the question. If a guy at, if a guy recommends a place mm -hmm. and then you say no, mm -hmm. and then he says, well, where would you like to go? Let's go to Sweet Greens. It's a, it's like a salad shop. It's healthy. You can get like I nobody spraying yeah, fifty fifty on sweet. Well, no, but I'm just saying it's I another am not a option. Vegan or vegetarian, that, like. No, they sell meat. I'm just saying like it's 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 something that I like. It's something that's in the similar Aaron, price stop. range. I'm not even talking about you. I'm talking about K God. It's roof Christmas. I'm gonna say. I'm you gotta say. ask regular people. No, I'm, I'm asking K. I'm a regular person. K. The day you plan on taking. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, tell me. How are you gonna dub me for, listen, on my suggestion? Listen, look, Chilo's gave hey, me food poisoning. The day you decided to take me out, <laughs> I actually was gonna go there and take myself. So let's just go to Booth Chris. I already have a reservation. <laughs> Absolutely not. If you're asking me, hey, have you ever had this? Have you ever had that? Have you ever been? And I say, no, let's try it. I'm Googling the restaurant though, making sure it's not in ghetto. And then I'm with it. We outside. But I if you're not, and you one of those guys that Ruth show that you're trying to hit, <laughs> I'm gonna hit your pockets, okay? That makes sense. Period. I had a, uh, I had a food girlfriend. A who? Like a, a foodie? Food girlfriend. She eat. A That's foodie? Me. Nah, it, she was a foodie. It's, like she just eat a lot of food. No, no, she don't eat a lot of food. That's not what <laughs> oh. I mean. <laughs> I had a food girlfriend. She likes food. <laughs> like, she used to do research on uh, all these restaurants and mm -hmm. all these different types of food and, and like, suggested places. Mm -hmm. Okay. And she would call me and she'd be like, hey, um, I found this place. It's in Philly. Let's go there. That's dope. That's dope. And I was like, all right, cool. What do they have? Because, you know, <clears> I'm a picky eater. She's like, yeah, yeah, they got what you like. And we would go. Mm -hmm. And I would pay sometimes. Sometimes she would pay. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I think that 
what kept us around for like a year and a half. But like, here's the crazy thing. A year and a half was a good time. We didn't text. We didn't call. We didn't do none of that. We only talked about food. We talked about dates. After that, we fucked. I could curse. Yeah. After that, we fucked. How and it was amazing. The connection then? There was never a connection. No, it was a great... No, it was no, no, the food. No, that was it. Was, it. No, no, no. You should have took out the food first. It was just the food. No, it wasn't just the food. Because the, the thing is, the connection was great because we enjoyed the same thing. We enjoyed trying new food or new things, right? And we enjoyed exploring. Mm -hmm. and, then after, and then after that, we enjoyed our company because we were so already happy. We had great sex, right? Mm -hmm. And when she moved, I was like, all right, well, when you get back, like we're going on another this. date. Like, that was the only relationship, and I forgot about that because it was, like, five years, six years ago, maybe Damn, seven. I care about her. Right? No, I didn't really care about her because I, I was still, like, doing my thing. She was probably still doing her thing, but we had, like, a... A bond. We had a bond, you right? You guys had a bond. Common interest. Mm -hmm. And that's what I... And, and, see, back in the day, right, when I was studying... They studying asked, what? Shh, just studying. Studying. I wasn't studying like a course. I was just studying, like reading and listening to many people and learning oh, okay, new things, okay. like researching. Right. Um, I learned that you learn more when you eat foods that you like while listening. Is that true? Yeah. So if, even if you had a class, right, and um, you didn't like your teacher, they would say as long as you could uh, snacks were permitted, bring your favorite snack, eat your snack while you while you listened and learned the class. So that's when, not me. I'm eating so, my favorite so food. Food, mm -hmm. food bonds people. Food all oh, absolutely. Good food automatic good food and good, you know, energy, of course, automatically puts you in a more receptive state. Can you have a great first day conversation at an expensive restaurant where the food is bad? No. Mm -mm. No. The food is we, we just... only talking about the food being it, bad. No. But no. you can be cracking jokes. You no. could, like, no, I think you. You gotta be drunk as hell. Expensive oh, restaurant. No, but if there's a connection, together. but if there's already a legit connection, <laughs> if there's already a legit connection, you can't go on. Can you? If the food is bad? No. Yes, because those are the same kind of people who can still connect over coffee, who can still connect over, well, like, they going might to actually like, have a disconnect. I'm gonna say it's because we black. Because I feel some kind of way. I'm like, it's because we black. They they making our food. Like, look at their food over there. Matter of fact, I will give you a perfect example. Speak on it. The first date me and my husband went on, we were living in BR, that's Baton Rouge. Where he took you? It was, I think it was like a, a Japanese spot. How much was it? It was expensive? I don't remember. Mm. Japanese was expensive. It was expensive. See, that's what I'm talking about. She's mad. No, stop it. No, but, no, it but we were in Baton Rouge. It was not oh, like, this expensive, I promise. We were, we were in Baton Rouge. Rouge. Japanese music. But, so we were there, yeah. and like the food was just kind of whatever. <laughs> It wasn't terrible, but like it was nothing memorable. But like mm -hmm. the fact that like you had a good time, a fucking great did time. Did y'all go for a walk after? Were y'all drunk? No. Okay. Did y'all go for a walk after? But the food wasn't uh -uh. bad. It wasn't. It was nothing memorable. It was like I, uh, the, the only thing I remember remember about that. It was better than the food. It was food Benny Hanna's. He, no, it wasn't many times. I would remember. Than the food. And that's what I'm saying. Your per if your personality can mm -hmm. like overcome your like conversation a is not better than a roof Chris or Brooklyn Chop House. It can be. But that's it the absolutely thing. Can, it can be. be. But most guys that resort like you have to but just because you got me at Roof Chris doesn't mean you're gonna keep me there. Roof Chris is the start. We sitting at a table. Mm. I'm trying to see how you are, what you like, what you don't like. Just because you have money doesn't mean you're not an asshole. Especially like, if you eat there all the time. You understand? And I eat there all the time, so they know me. They get annoyed by me. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm there. <laughs> they know yeah. how I am. So you have to impress me because I, I'm going to... But that's what I'm trying to tell you mm -hmm. is that most people that resort, most men that resort Males. to take it... <laughs> there was a group of... <laughs> Damn. There was a group of... Badass females there, and I said, God, I've been where have I been searching? Mm. I'm messing up. Applebee's. No, nah, I don't. I don't even eat that. Like, relax. Big shout out to Applebee's. Big shout out to two for twenties lit. You're. <laughs> got drinks as fire. Well, so they do got good drinks over there, right? Really? Applebee's. Just my man Magic. He runs yep. one of them. Yeah, I know. He's yeah, a yeah. GM, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He he um. Drinks are good over there. So I need to go to Magic's location. Whatever. <laughs> Listen, you take her to I was I, when I realized that, like, okay, if this is the type of women that I'm seeking, this is the type of place that I need to be at, right? So when she's saying if she does roof Chris on the regular, I get it, right? 
Mm -hmm. But then again... But not on a regular. See, that's the difference. But not on a regular. Not on a regular, but when She's I decide to first date. on myself. Yeah, the first date. I throw my shoe at everybody. <laughs> and, now we're just, like, switching the narrative. Men do try to impress women the same way we try to impress men. There's nothing wrong with saying, oh, first date, take me to Ruth Chris. Because that first date, you don't know... You talking about you complaining about a $400 dinner. I didn't spend $1,600 on my weave to impress you. <laughs> Oh, I didn't wear makeup and the makeup and the shoes and the, and the dress and the nails, the manicure and the pedicure to impress you. And you're complaining about a four hundred dollar dinner. If you don't get up on my face, that is true though. No, that's no, 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 no. No, no, Rico, Rico. You know I'm always on your side. You have to know the quality. I said this before on this show and got roasted. I said the exact same thing. You better not side with her. You know why? Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Who cares about your weed? Who cares about Stop, well, if hold you on, can't afford four hundred dollars? I let you go. I let you go. I let you go. Relax. Okay. 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 Who cares about your weave? Who cares about your nails? Who cares about your makeup? Mm -hmm. That is a requirement for you to look a certain type of way for whatever guy you're trying to attract. You, when, because I'm on the whoa, date whoa, 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 with you. Out. Okay, got it. I'll let you go. Okay. All right. Okay. So she would have washed the whoa, whoa, whoa. old weave. But if but, <laughs> a new one for you. <laughs> Listen, first of all, I found out that they put in weaves and washing machines. And I'm not even gonna go into that. <laughs> I'm not even gonna go into that. Right? <laughs> She's laughing. Really? <laughs> look, look, look. Oh, I you mine and I'm <laughs> I don't wanna hear it. So this sixteen hundred dollars will last you six months. So it's not sixteen hundred dollars. Not me, but, that'd be y'all, but, but yeah. what I'm saying is, <laughs> but I got I'm, a new wig when I come to you. So what don't I'm complain. trying to say is who cares if you spend all this money on this weave? this makeup mm -hmm. and this outfit mm -hmm. hypothetically because mm -hmm. if I pull up and I try to take you to Roof Chris in the 19, 1997 Toyota, Toyota uh, Camry we outside and out. this shoe got a call does it have we air outside. we're not going to sit here and act like if a guy takes a girl to Roof Chris and then he tries to bring her to the middle of the hood after Roof Chris that it's going to be okay so it might. No, she will. She'll, she'll, it she'll might. go to the hood. I'm, we out to the hood. She'll go to the I'm hood. in the she'll hood. Go to the hood. Because the Ruth hood Chris day. date was so if great. You, all right. We so in listen, the hood chilling. Bring the belly bring, bottles. If you bring a if you bring a girl to Ruth Chris and she goes to the hood after with you to Ruth Chris, she was never worth Ruth Chris. You're crazy. You should have brought her to TGI Friday. Not true. Applebee's because they got good drinks. Not true. Or Chili's, which gave Aaron food poisoning. Not, not true. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> I am a bitch that is from the hood, so I have no problem with chilling in the hood, okay? You could take me to Ruth Chris, and then we could go chill in the hood wait, wait, after. Wait. When we say no, chilling no, no, no. in the hood, are we talking about, like, the Short Hills out. hood? Like, Westchester? Like, Rich Hood? No. <laughs> are we talking no. about the... We talk, in a hood. About where? Hood. Where? No, no, we Marcy in Brownsville. Project. What's no, no, up? No, no, we're no, talking no, about no, you no, go no, to my house. We in Brownsville. No, no, we no, had no, a beautiful no, day. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 we going back nah. next week. Nah. You, you come no, with me, and I live in the basement of somebody else's house. That's different. That, that That's, has no, holes no, in the just, walls. No, we go into the hood to show love. We not. We don't live No, no. Going to the hood to chill is different. I'm talking about if I but try man to... But takes you to the hood after Ruth Chris. He's trying to impress you. But that's... Like, I got shot over that him. Makes no. <laughs> that makes sense. I'm talking about living, sense. though. And I'm, and I'm not, like, well, where they shot to... you at? <laughs> where they shot you yeah. at? That's what nah. my little cousin Ray Ray <laughs> I do that sometimes, too. But that's different because I'm love where I'm at. But look. <laughs> but what I'm saying is if you don't got... If a woman... A woman... This is what I'm trying to say, right? A woman thinks that because she puts all of this on her, all this expenses on her physical appearance, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have a man who takes you to a fine dining restaurant. Mm -hmm. That man has to fulfill those expectations of a fine dining restaurant in his lifestyle. I want to I want to disconnect our struggles with where we're comfortable at. Okay. I'm talking about this is a person that you also don't know. Just met him. Yep. You just met him. Mm -hmm. It's the first time you ever met him. Mm -hmm. You spent a thousand, two thousand dollars, three thousand, four thousand dollars on your outfit, weave, yeah, makeup, etc. Mm -hmm. Right. And the guy takes you to Ruth Chris. Mm -hmm. Right. You're not going to expect him to bring you to the basement of somebody's house that you never met because you really like him right now. Mm -hmm. Or you're going to say he's just a bad investor. Or he's a bad... So when I'm Let's not say Ruth Chris. Let's say Brooklyn Chop House. Okay. Brooklyn Chop House. But what I'm trying to say is a woman thinks because she spends four to five thousand dollars on her physical appearance that a man's not spending four to five thousand dollars on his on his lifestyle to make sure that when you come with him, if you like him that much, mm -hmm. that it doesn't suit where he's bringing you. What I'm breaks. saying is show me that you're trying to impress me on that first date. Show me that. Show me that you care that because, much to impress me. So what would be my return on that investment? Of course. What first is my return first on that investment? Wait, no, I got it. So, it's, a, it's a hand yeah, job. It's a hand a job. Hand job? Yeah, she got the hand job. <laughs> she got the hand job. Because we ain't not fucking.
working. She got the <laughs> head on. <laughs> with me, with me. What's my return just, on that investment? With me, I'm just a realized bitch. So when I we have fun, you got a fun, so-called 100. You keep it 100. Yeah, that's a fact. 100. Right. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> See, shout out to eight at the table. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> buy y'all badges, super chat, everything. super chat, everything. But with me. Number one, you also have to know the individual or at least know a little bit about the individual you're taking out on a first date. So with K Goddess, with spending that much on a first date, because four hundred dollars is a lot. With spending that much money on a Don't first date. Like that, I'm just saying. With inflation is seven hundred people. Right, yeah. right. With spending that much money on a first date and you you are an amazing person. I'm rocking with you and I'm vibing with you. The investment is you're going to get that spent on you one day. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm one of those girls. I make a lot of money. I'm not saying judge a man by his pockets, run him for roof quips all the time. No, because if you eventually like this guy, the point is to save money. The point is to build together. The point is to make sure we're both set. But just understand when we do decide to, hey, babe, I want to impress you today. We're going out somewhere expensive because I didn't stack my bread up and saved it. And I'm saying make me feel like I'm that important into where you're like, hey, damn, this girl might be super expensive, so let me save up to take her to Roof Chris because this is where she want to be at. I'm not saying... You're, you're talking about the first time out the gate investment. First time out and the I'm gate gonna tell, investment, I'm gonna, yes. And what we're saying from the male perspective mm -hmm. is that we're trying to tell men you can't just keep doing these first out the gate investments. Well, you don't do it with everybody. Like I said, you but, do it with a woman you don't, of quality. But you don't know. Right? Yeah. So a man, True. imagine who is single, dates, we're not even going to exaggerate. He mm -hmm. only dates once a week. Mm -hmm. $500. That's $2,000 in a month. Everybody don't get $500 That's date, though. That's what we're trying to yeah, say. Yeah, everybody don't get the five hundred dollar date. No, but you don't but know. Me, <laughs> me and this is what, but here's the thing. Look, K Goddess, I'm being real with you, right? Mm -hmm. If I never met you and I never knew you and I mm -hmm. saw you on Instagram, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people who are just like you on Instagram, mm -hmm. right? There's a lot of people who are just like all of us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. But then I finally get the opportunity to take you out. Mm -hmm. I don't, you don't like me. I, no, no, no. Forget like you. I haven't met you yet, mm -hmm. right? I don't know as a as a person seeking you. I don't know you. I don't know if you are worth that five hundred dollars for that one time a week. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to say here is, you need to be smart. You need to also be able to find out and actually peel back the layers of every person that you're trying to spend money on. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying don't take her to Ruth Chris on a second date or a third date. If she earned it and you think that she's worth it, go ahead. Mm -hmm. But on a first date, you can't just jump out the gate saying I'm going to spend five, six, seven hundred dollars on somebody because I deem her as this valuable. No, you don't have to. Your budget could be two hundred dollars, but make sure that experience is worth it. But don't take right, me. Right. Don't yeah, take. Yeah. But don't take me to a coffee shop. I'm Yo, sorry. But, I'm not going to no wait, coffee oh, shop. Okay, question question for you. Go ahead. I'm gonna say. But let's be real. For the average person, that's what I, I keep yeah. reiterating. Yeah, that but because the average is still not enough. I'm, I'm two hundred dollars is a lot. It depends it is. It's on who you're dealing with, right? No, I'm, we're talking about average people. That's the thing. Like, I, I get what we're. What... I, I hate to keep pushing inflation on in this, but I, I just got to keep doing that. No, I get what we're saying, but like, let's let's be real. Either, like, you're if you work a regular job and you make a regular job, mm -hmm. okay, regular nine to five, mm -hmm. and you make $50,000 a year, mm -hmm. like, dating is extra at this point. Because yeah. you got lights, you got yeah. gas, you got rent, you got car, no insurance. You have all these other things that have to be paid before you can even put a thought in your mind to go on a date. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless you out here living life I mean, badly, I don't know. $50,000 doesn't mean your money's not right, depending on how you budget, budget. and how no. smart you are with your money. Hey, no, all, I agree. Over but here, it's no. $25,000 in rent a year. So Just you, to start. D yeah, so if you make 50000 half of that money is gone in rent. Right, so like yeah. dating is, at this point is a, is a, is a, is not even it's a not it's a priority. A liability. It's not a priority. So like I mean okay so but if you still want to date this is your chance to shine. You ain't got to spend two hundred dollars. You use your fucking thinking brain. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and and be resourceful and plan a picnic. That's what I'm like, saying. Like like go but to the man, Van Gogh experience. But if you're not like, trying to use so your brain, brain things, I'm gonna hit you with Ruth Chris and we're gonna test and well your deserved. pockets. I'm gonna tell you why. That's Rico, it. this is what I'm saying to 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 men. I like what you women are saying because you guys are saying what we're saying. We're all saying the same. We're, thing. we're saying the no, same. We thing. all saying the same thing, but differently. Because if you don't use your brain and try to make me feel like a woman and make me feel like you're taking charge and you're being a man and hey, we're gonna go this and I got this plan, I got that plan, and we out and about, and you just trying to just be 
a regular guy that's sleazy man that's just trying to smash. Yeah. I'm going to be a sleazy girl that try to spend your money. Understand what you're getting into because I'm a real ass bitch. And with being a real ass bitch, you have to understand that I understand the struggle. I understand that we have to budget. I understand that we have bills. I understand that you might have kids that you have to pay for and you got to take care of. I understand you probably got people in jail you taking care of. I understand. I come from that. But don't think you're going to try to talk to me like I'm a piece of ass or a piece of pussy and I'm not going to hit you like you just a dollar sign, nigga. Because then I don't care about what you what you living like. I don't care about the bills you paying and none of that because you're not using your brain to treat me like a woman. That's just like that. And your mama feel the same way. Your sister feel the same way. And you're going to feel that way about your daughter. Don't ever let no man make you feel like you less than because if he do, then you hit that nigga for his motherfucking pockets. Period. I, I would. I, 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 hmm. I agree, but I would tell Hello. you this. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I personally, and, and this is just me being personally, if I, I, I pray no. that my daughter never has that ideology. I, but, but Rico, but, here's what I got to say. I pray yeah. that, cause she would, I would rather, as a woman, that not not saying anything against you, as a woman of respect, I, ra- I would respect a woman more if she said, I don't even care about your pockets. I don't even care about him. No, 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 no. But, but Rico, what, I'm, what, what I'm, I'm saying is like, Rico, what I want to, what, what, yeah, like, what I'm gonna go with, yo, what's up with you? Is what I'm gonna go with is I'm gonna call you little bro. For mm. for the it's guys, too much, right? It's good. This now. is the thing with the guys, right? The it's thing Rico with the guys is that I'm the, not that guy the though. More, <laughs> the more you're just trying to hit, the less creative you are. Thank you. That's false. Thank you. Wait, think about it. No, 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 bro. And not to defend the women though. Yo, you got it. Creative guys sometimes who shouldn't. No, he doesn't. Absolutely. Sometimes he's over creative. Sometimes. Yo, you can't be over creative too. What, just be resourceful. Alan. Now, all right, his, his no, mind. Make no, me feel like I'm Alan, learning something. Absolutely not. Let me tell you something. That's not a lot of those. No, stop. I want everybody to stop because this has made me highly upset. Okay. <laughs> It's made me highly upset. Really? Yes, because that vein is you see it coming pulsating. out. It's, it's coming out because I can't believe my ears. <laughs> Let me tell you something, right? Broke. I I hate it's, using I that word. Poor or unfortunate men have found low income, low income men. There we go. Mm-hmm. Low income men are so creative that they're able to finesse women of value very easily. Give us an example. No, they gotta have something going for themselves. Give no, they, no, they, they, you gotta have that's something. That's what a, you know what a creative is. Give it us. Give us a, an example. Yo, you know how? Listen, bro. Come on, catfishing. Like no, he, no, 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 no. He's hiding who he is. Listen, I'm gonna tell you like this from a personal experience. Me and all of my Using friends. Using his homeboy car and stuff. Me and all of my friends, we didn't grow up with anything. So when we were younger, 21, 22, 20 years old, we didn't have nothing to offer. Mm-hmm. But we're hitting top notch women. How are we doing this? Because we're creative. You know what I could do? I know you never knew how to do this, that, the third. I know that this is only gonna cost me $75 for this experience. But guess what? $75 is gonna give for me. For a girl you like. No, it doesn't have to be a well. Yes, because I'm not spending but no she's money. Learning on something. Okay, Rico, as, as a man, no give, us, spending, give, give some game no, to the audience. I'm not spending no money on no girl I don't like. That's right. it. Give some game to the audience. YouTube, like for this game. So <laughs> the kids. All right. So listen, my mom put me on game a long time ago. You want a girl to never forget you. You want a girl to be easier for you. I'm not saying in general. Mm-hmm. You got to be able to teach her or give her a new experience. Yes. This is what men try to do with money. Because nowadays it's the easy way out. If you've never been on a boat, money is br- the easy way out. It is. Yeah, I got it. If you've never been on a boat, I could bring you on a boat. Mm-hmm. Boom. But guess what? Have you ever been indoor skydiving? I'm about to do it. Okay. For my uh, episode on YouTube real soon. Yeah. I just hit them up. So yeah. if I so if I would have hit, not saying this is real, mm-hmm. but if I would have hit K Goddess up seven eight years ago, and we're both in our teens, right? And I'm like, yo, let's go indoor skydiving, and she's like, I never did that before, and it cost me a hundred dollars a person. Two hundred dollars. I don't have to spend a four or five, six hundred dollars. Can you compete with a guy that could take her at that exact time in her life? Yeah. And be like, yo, I'm the gonna thing take is you with people, to a sky roof. Yes, because a, a person with money is not I'm going on both, y'all. A person <laughs> exactly. A person with money is not really thinking. They don't care to invest the time into thinking what's going to please or give her a new experience. And that's why we're going to but Ruth Chris. Everybody's asking yeah, for no, an no, example. I, I agree. You know I just gave no, me no, them. No, 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 no they're asking for an example, yeah. and I'm going to yeah. ask you a question. Mm-hmm. The question for you is, Ooh, child. and you can say it to the ladies, right? And to, the, or, to, to, to everybody, actually. Cheers. What's the, what's the, 
What's the approach? How does a Act woman like a shot, right? How does a woman know the different approach when a guy is trying to get to know her versus when a guy is just trying to fuck? If a guy is just What is his actual approach? It's hard. It's very first it's of all, hard. Well, there's I can't well, it depends cuz there's two. There's a skillful one and an unskillful one. Yeah. I agree okay. with you. Con. So an unskillful man that just wants to smack is gonna be very simple. He's gonna bring you to somewhere that you may think that you or somewhere that you like that he thinks that you like. If you say Ruth Chris and y'all spoke about it, I'm gonna bring you to Ruth Chris. I'm gonna be cool. I might still be a little bit standoffish. Oh yeah, cool, cool. Whatever. They have a little bit of conversation, but it's nothing of substance. It's nothing revealing. If a guy is transparent about himself, he's telling you about himself. He's telling you about he he's actually opening up to you. As if you feel that he's opening up to you, then now you know that even if he doesn't hit that day, he's investing his emotions, feelings, and time into you. So that he can hit later. Not so. He, he maybe yeah. He hit. wants to hit regardless. He wants to Thank hit you. no matter what. Yeah, but yeah. he's not. But he's not. That's he, not his only intention. Not, yeah, that's not his only intention. Now, if a guy is just trying to, if you see a guy is not giving you anything of him, and it's everything external, except the more he tries to impress you. Yes. The more he's just trying to fuck. Yep. Or if not impress you, have fun. Cause some like I said, no. skill, skillful yeah. men know how to make a girl have fun. Cause when a girl has fun, she's open to do more things. It's easier. I actually agree. Do yeah. do you think, ladies, do you guys think that I'm actually thinking about this on some real shit. Do you think that men are more afraid of falling in love than women? Mm. Yes. Is it more scary for a guy? I'm talking no. about I don't. I don't know. I think that's for a man to yeah, to say. I, I would have no idea of no, like if from, a man from, is no no no. no, no, from, the no. You know the answer. The way my ex moved out of our relationship. No, no. Yeah. I have no idea. Y'all where. jump from relationship to relationship and say y'all love every girl y'all get with. That's a no. male, not a man. Okay. Big difference. Okay. A man is a a man is because a, to a man up. shouldn't be lying. Uh, uh, well, no, no, no. A man tells the truth, a man, and, and then and then and, and it gives the other person a man should not the lie. opportunity a man to should make not, a, a no, well-informed decision. No, That's a, a man should not lie to a woman who can handle the truth. No, fuck that. I agree. No, a man should not lie. To you a woman can, handle, who the can handle the truth. No, some women require no, some to women be lied to. No, li- the this, no, yeah, this, no, fir- no, 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 no. Let me know how. Now, first of all, let's say some people can't handle the truth, but it's not fair to say that a woman can't handle the truth. So it's up to you to take away her autonomy True. to make an informed decision. True. If you a real man, yes. That no, 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 no. If you are a real man, if you are a real yeah. adult man, woman, you tell the truth and then you let the other person Decide. make an informed decision yeah. about that's whether bad they. leadership for a no, man. It's, no, it's not. You tell the truth when you get caught, but you don't tell the truth at first. It's, I think, I, honestly, <laughs> I think it's bad leadership no. for a man. I think a man, if he's leading his woman, no. really leading his woman, he has to understand certain things. Like, no, but he also that she tell can't her the deal truth. with facts. He needs to tell her the truth because Some that she can't, can't deal with that they can't I, deal with I facts. Think, I think I, I, a man I wanna, should always tell yeah. a woman the truth who could handle, handle the, the truth. truth. But See, same me, thing I tell versa. my wife the truth because he's my wife. She could carry that weight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I've been in relationships before I've been married. I'd be like, I never tell this bro this thing. She'll break apart. Yeah. yeah. She'll no. fall apart. No. My, I think, uh, Instagram, tell us, do y'all women, do y'all want to know the truth or not? Tell me the truth. No, not it's not truth. about what you want. It's what you can handle. So help you So, God. like, just like, there's a lot <laughs> no. of men, right? There's a lot of men, too, and now I'm going to play devil's advocate. I'm in my Aaron role, right? <laughs> there's a lot of men that think that they can handle the truth yeah, when they so. find out the history of Man their girlfriend. The and then as soon as they find out the history of their girlfriend, he breaks apart. He don't know how to do You know what I'm saying? So should we just lie to men because it's, it's, y'all it's already, obvious no, that you always lie to men. You've been I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't always lie. lie to men. I don't lie. Well, you said lie. should we, and I said yes, I, you, but like. I, I, I Aaron T. Campbell. The renegade. I, Aaron T. No. Campbell, the renegade. No. Okay, goddess, do you lie to oh niggas? Jesus. Do you, you know what I women say? You, I tell the truth too much. No, 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 no. K Goddess. Let's call K Goddess. Let's call K Goddess on the last episode on Eight at the Table. In quotation, what does it matter what I did before you? No, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. I always said that. I also, I also said, go watch it. No, uh, <laughs> go back. Uh, I mean, uh, documented. <laughs> I also said, roll the tape. If we are outside and you came, we coming across somebody you smash. Let me know so I don't look stupid. 
tell the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Because at the end of the day, you telling me the truth knows teaches me how to move. It teaches me how to prepare myself, especially if we in a tight scenario and something is going on right then and there. And you not telling me the truth and a girl all up on you like, so Rico, and I'm going to be like, hold on. You wasn't gonna tell me y'all smash? Let me know. So, uh, Yo, baby, I ain't gonna lie to the girl over there in the green. You know, I, I smashed a few months ago. Ain't nothing, nothing. So when she come over, I'm like, hey, girl, how you doing? You look so pretty in that green. You know what I'm saying? Teach me how to how don't, to move. Don't, don't let, don't let her like, get a one up on you. At all. Don't ever let the next bitch or the next nigga have a one up on your partner. That Yo, is the so worst ever. Stop it. No Please, niggas will ever I'm be I'm about to hit you with this pillow. <laughs> Yo, so let me ask you this question. Yes. So you you smashed the mans, right? Mm -hmm. You're dating me. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. You're not dating me because I would never allow this to happen. <laughs> you're, you're dating Al, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you not Al, Al the cameraman. Al. Uh, not Alice. Not Alice. Not Alice. Not Alice. Not Alice. the cameraman. You're dating. You're dating. Wait, no, no, let me ask my question. You're dating Al, mm -hmm. our great cameraman who's have our YouTube live. Mm -hmm. Shout out to YouTube live. Al, you cute. Right? Al. Al. Yeah, there you go. You're dating Al, mm -hmm. right? And then you smash me. Mm hmm. And now we in the same. Wait, I'm cheating on Al. No, no, no. Later, later, no, no, later. No, no, no. Later. You're dating Al now. Mm -hmm. You smashed me three, Dated four months ago. Okay. Right, mm -hmm. like you said, and now you and Al and me are at eight at the table, mm -hmm. and Al's running the cameras like, I mean, no, no, I'm running the cameras, and you're like, hey, Al, you know what I'm saying? I smashed Rico, but he just run the camera. First like, off, if I know you and Al hang out with each other, I'm telling no, you, I we smashed don't know. Al before no, Al's no, no, even no, no, my boyfriend. Out. No, no, there's no out for this one. I'm using your example. Okay. There's no, I know who's yes. killing with if what. If I pop up you know, and I'm like, hey, babe, I'm coming to your job today, and Rico is there, baby, let's have a talk before you get on camera. You yes. gonna, you gonna tell you me that? Real? Yes, I'm that real. First of all, I live in an industry you, with nothing but realness. Can you can you explain I'm to in, women I'm, how to I'm how does a, that work? First off, I'm where, just be honest. First off, where's listen. Cap hat? Where's the cap hat? <laughs> listen, she's not no doing cap. that. No, she's not I'm telling me. I'm gonna live your to the bullshit. No, Let she's not. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm letting Al know, baby. Maybe we should talk Get a little the bit, fuck something. Out of here, or I'm not. I might not disturb Al doing he, his work. I'm gonna tell him after. But regardless of the fact, I'm letting. <laughs> no, Al you gotta know. say it before. Yo, no, I'm letting Al know regardless. On Instagram. Why y'all keep coming for K Goddess? Y'all really must be intimidated or envious. Let her be. It's People Rico. Y'all see the hate, That's right? All <laughs> I do. Okay. Y'all see the hate. It's Bianca, Rico. The... I'll give you a hug Bianca, right now. Bianca, it's a... Hey, Bianca, how about that? Ain't no hate. It's all love. Appreciate. No, but for real, I'm letting Al know because I will want the same respect. No, you're not. Yes, I am. And all my ex-boyfriends could count for this. I have niggas on my phone still to this day. Niggas be like, yo, so-and-so, so I heard this, 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 this. Well, that person is lying because I actually smashed so-and-so and so-and-so. That's how I am. I'm a real-ass bitch. I will never lie about a body. That's number one because I don't care about none of these niggas. Any old, you ain't have me you had the old body so i don't even <laughs> care like you understand what i'm saying i don't yeah. even care so i'm gonna tell the truth 100 percent because i would never want no next nigga laughing at my nigga i think i think that you... wait hold we on. got a super chat wait, wait hold on yo Woo! first of all wait, wait, hey, speaking of super wait, chats wait, please, please, instagram please. don't forget y'all could buy badges too buy yeah. badges support yo before we even get into this i just want to say okay. this because I've never heard this in a, a day in my. Are you, you, are you giving awards? I'm giving. I'm giving a Wait, real. These over, are a real, real woman a award. A real woman award. And if you want to be a real woman, you need to tell the men the, the, truth. Uh, the truth about the men you slept with. No, when they, when all they right. Run across so here's an example, real quick, before we answer the question. One time, I have yeah, a guy that I am. I I do. Damn, I'm probably gonna lose some holes. But listen, <laughs> I have a guy that you I, I deal them. with. You tell him the truth. No, yeah, because they, they know about him. I know, I'm but listen, I have a guy that I do deal with that's incarcerated. You understand what I'm saying? And he's oh. been incarcerated since my previous relationship. You understand what I'm saying? And we was never on the terms that we are on now. And I keep it real with him. When this new year came in, he said, hey, I knew that hey, you got out of your... No, listen. But he about to come home real soon. Free him. But I'm saying, but when you in jail, <laughs> when, when, when a dude's no, in jail, he but, allows his right, girl to go. No, but listen, right? So he said to me, he said, hey, I know you just got out of a relationship. It made a year. You know what I'm saying? I want to know who you slept with. <laughs> we gonna, I'm we gonna say you had the whole world. Yeah. I want to know who you slept she with. The award down. Yeah, it was, it was I want to know who you slept with. <laughs> it was a speech. He said to me, I want to know who you slept with uh, during the time once you became single. And I said, hey, 
I have no problem with that. I called a couple of my friends and I asked them, I'm not gonna lie, I asked them, should I lie to him or should I tell him the truth? Okay. They said, tell him the truth because you know how he feels about you and you will want the truth if the tables was turned. Facts, you're right. I like your friends. Right, facts, you're right. You so when he friends. called me, yeah. when he called me, nice. I told him the you. truth. I gave him a timeline. I was dealing with this There's guy. No I was dealing this. with that guy. I gave him a timeline. I gave him a rundown of everything. And at the end of that conversation, which is different now, you know what I'm saying? It's real different. But at the end of that conversation, he did say to me, when I come home, I don't want to be with you. He did say that to me. He said Word. that to me. Yeah, he did say that to me. When I come home, I don't want to be with you. And I respected it. I said, cool. I already, knew, I already knew that this can possibly be a I possibility. Yeah. So, of course, I'm okay with that. Because no, I knew with telling you the truth, you have an option whether to deal exactly. with me and not deal with me. I didn't take that option away from you exactly. to where I just lie to you and tell you something that you want to hear when I know most likely when you come home, you're going to hear it anyway. Right. You know Do what I'm saying? Do you regret so it? I rather, Do you regret no, I don't regret it. You? Because you know now he called... He still calls me and say I respect you and I know you would never you lie to her. me. But I trust you. I, you, can, can, I, can you, I could try, you could trust a woman that don't lie yo, to you though. Yo, but you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You could tell me anything. Yo, you can hey, say, yo, you know me, I, I got caught that. up in a car with this, <laughs> that, and the third. I, I need help and you can help tell them. The you truth. have to okay. tell me the but truth. But here's the thing. But y'all just said men can't handle the but truth. But no, no, no. But here's no, no, no. Women lied, so we never got used to the truth. And the thing is, women lie. No. Women lie. Yes. You just told me men lie. You literally just said it out of your mouth. <laughs> but and my men thing, lie. But wait, Aaron. I said men lie to women who no, cannot no, handle no, the no, truth. No, 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 wasn't the ones you I said held men down. lie to women that cannot you handle the truth. Lie. Aaron, my exact <laughs> words were: you said men lie, lie to, to women, women that, that cannot handle the, handle the truth. But how but do you know that they can't handle it? You know, because you told them the truth a few times and they went nuts. No, you've been lying to them. No, wait, what was the question? Wait, wait, wait. But here's the thing. Wait, wait. What was the question that they asked me? Yeah, fatty. Fatty. Big shout out to fatty. Yo, Fatty's been here for a we, while. Fatty though. got a fatty? It's a dude. Oh. Well, <laughs> he might have a fatty. He might have a fatty. Chill, 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 chill. You, you don't lie. I'm rump on him. If you uh, you don't lie, what's your body count? Now, I mean, that's kind of private. That's I think you saved that for your. We're girl. not gonna do that. My body count Patty. is I was outside. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, yeah. I got a couple of them Johns. I ain't gonna lie.